Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the website Desmos in replace of a graphing calculator at home in order to use the calculator to solve some equations and inequalities by graphing. So if you go to desmos.com, this is the home page. You just click here where it says graphing calculator. And your graphing calculator is going to pop up and load for you. Here's where everything's going to graph. Over here on the left-hand side is where we're going to enter our, our <clears throat> functions. So on the notes of 1.5 day two, it says solve by using a graphing calculator to the nearest tenth. So the first equation, I'm just going to type in here, negative x squared. This right here, show keypad. I can type x squared plus 8x. minus 13 so there's our first graph the parabola so now i want the second <clears throat> equation which is the absolute value of x minus 4. <clears throat> so i just hit enter it pops up another box over here to get absolute value it's right here the absolute value bar so i type that and then x minus 4. notice that it gives me the absolute value right on top of it the nice thing about desmos then I'm looking for the, where the two graphs intersect. That is the solution. I can simply touch those dots and it pops up and it tells me. So this first one is at 2.697. Okay. Our notes asked us to go to the nearest tenth. So here X is approximately 2.7. This one X would be approximately 5.3. We wanted to do another one. I can just clear this, clear this. The next example on the notes was X squared plus 2x minus 1. That was the first equation, parabola. Hit enter. My second equation was an absolute value. So inside the absolute value was x plus 2 and then plus 2 on the outside. I can see it graphs right there. It intersects right there. So that is at approximately negative 3.3. And then if I move my graph up, I can see it intersects up here as well. And again, if I just click on that, it tells me that is approximately 1.8. The last one I had on our notes, so I could go here and clear these, was the absolute value of 3x plus 5. Hit enter, and then 1 third x. So let me see. 1 third one third x plus five that line and again i can just click this to make my keyboard go away and i see at x equals negative three and at x equals zero or where these two graphs cross so this is just a great tool that you can use at home if you don't have access to a graphing calculator at home. Our homework um, for Friday asked us to use a graphing calculator to solve the systems of equations and inequalities. So I hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions.